Can you please tell me what's your name, where you're from, and what brought you to the clinic? Well, uh, my name is Ali Oza. I live in Australia, and I had this um, problem with my arm. I thought it was the um, muscles first, but when I went to my doctor, I realized that when he told me it was the um, MND disease, and I got my son and my daughter together, we spoke, and they searched around the world and they found this place. And that's why I came here to get better results. And how did you come up with the idea of trying stem cells? How, how did I come to trying the stem cells? Well, uh, how would I say that? When my doctor told me that my I'm losing the stem cells, the nerves in my arms. I didn't want to lose the, the other arm or any other part of my body. So I decided to get the treatment as ASAP, as soon as possible, so, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I can feel better. Have you got any fears of, or concerns of trying stem cells? Well, uh, at the moment I had no fears. Uh, which I wanted to come and get it done. But some people back home gave me a little bit of fright, saying that, you know, it'll get worse, it won't get any better. But uh, we spoke with the family and all that, and we want to, were will, willing to do it, and I was so happy that I did. So mm -hmm. I, did, I didn't want to listen to anybody. I wanted to get it done so I can get better. What have you heard or what have, have you seen about stem cells that uh, you decided to try? Well, I haven't heard any, anything before that I'd, mm -hmm. I never heard this disease before either, but uh, what, oh, if, you, if I can get any better, I can try mm -hmm. other things as well, you know, if, you, if you've got other things. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, this is all we have and hopefully it'll get better. Uh, and can you please walk me through the process of the treatment? How was it for you? It was very good, very successful. First three days was I thought it was going to be, you know, continue like that. But on Tuesday and Wednesday when I had the um, stem cells, uh, bone marrow on Tuesday. Of course, you know, there's always a bit of pain in every solution. But, uh, and the next time when I had the stem cells, according to what I felt before saying that losing my arm, it's worth taking that risk to get it done. So it'll, be, it'll get better in the future which I am very happy about. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been staying in the clinic? Well, today is my uh, eighth day. Mm -hmm. And uh, tomorrow I'm leaving. Tomorrow we're leaving. Was it painful? Did you have any side effects during the treatment? No side effects at all. Mm -hmm. No headaches, no. Well, of course, there's a little pain, you know, that's according, nothing against what the pr process has been done. So, you know, the inf uh, infusion, the um, uh, therapy, you know, what do you call that? Um, IV? Not, uh, uh, well, exercise and all that, you know. Physiotherapy. Uh, physiotherapy and all that. Well, I'm very happy with the staff, very happy with the equipment. It's all nice and clean, you know, good clinic. S staff's got a smiley faces, friendly people. So it's so good. Did you have uh, problems with uh, communication? Not at all. Not <laughs> at all. Luckily, we've got some Turkish speaking friends here as well. Ah, okay. And also, you know, a couple of words is a couple of words. <laughs> uh, they speak English finally, no problem. Easy to communicate. Nice people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned previously. Uh, uh, about success, successful treatment, something like that. Yes. What did you mean by su successful? Well, 
I'd say on the th until uh, Wednesday, Thursday morning, like yesterday morning, if I can sort of show you, get up and show you saying that my uh, trigger finger, is, I can't move it now. My little finger was the same until uh, Thursday morning, yes, yesterday morning. But now I can, I can move it better. That, that was like this, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't touch it like this, you know. But from the last two days, I can move my little finger and touch my hand. So the results are showing, mm -hmm. started to show. That's what I feel. Right in the clinic during the treatment. Yeah, yeah. But what did, did doctors tell you about expectation and when, when to expect the result? The results will slowly come up in the next maybe two, three months, maybe four months. Hopefully, you know, it'll get better. But the result will start showing in about, as I said, after two months. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what the doctor said. Okay, okay. Why have you chosen Swiss Medical? Why have I chosen? Because uh, this sort of treatment is not uh, being done anywhere around the world like you know it's been it's got a couple of places like Mexico I heard in America mm -hmm. and one in here uh, Serbia mm -hmm. and because Serbia is close to Europe and I've got a couple of friends in Serbia mm. and that's why I want to choose Serbia and come here and also see a bit of a history side in Serbia as well and how did how long did it take to fly to Serbia well, from Australia to Serbia with one stop in Doha takes about 20 hours. In total 20 hours? In total flying hours. With, mm -hmm. uh, we stayed about four hours in Doha, about 24, 23, 24 hours. Okay. Total. And the same time to get back? Of course. Yeah, yeah. of course. Okay. What are the things that you didn't like in the clinic? What I didn't like? Yes. The food is lovely, but it's too much. <laughs> they, you ask for half a portion, they give you extra portion. <laughs> so everything, everything was nice. There, there, was, there was nothing that I didn't like. Everything's good. Is there anything you would, would you, you would like to add or to share with us additional among that I, I have already asked you? Well, at, at this stage, um, I got no nothing in my mind to ask you about what um, you can do but what you can't do is I don't know you you're the professional not me I'm just a patient but like I say maybe keep the heat down a little bit it's, sorry, it's sorry, it, time, keep the heat uh, down in the building it's a bit too warm <laughs> that's about all all friendly faces you know I've got no complaints about it